Bonjour everybody! Welcome back to Topless Baker and we're getting a little bit French this week. We're going to make a beautiful French apple tart. Now, it's a little bit of a cheap French apple tart, so don't tell anyone, but we're going to use ready-made puff pastry. Easy peasy. We don't want to make this ourselves, do we? No, okay. So, what we're going to do, we can start off with our puff pastry, dust it with loads of flour, and we're going to roll it until it's a beautiful little rectangle, okay? So take your flour, make it rain, like this, cover your hands, and now, we're going to roll it out, okay, until it's about three mil thick, about the thickness of a pound coin, okay? Beautiful, okay? Roll down into a little bit of a rough rectangle, but the beauty is, it doesn't need to be a perfect rectangle because we're going to chop it into a rectangle. We don't have to be the best rolls in the world. So, take your knife and just cut all the way around the edge, and we're going to create our own rectangle. So, start here, out the side, don't cut the wood on your table, be careful and just throw away all the excess. Look at this, no one will ever know that you didn't roll it yourself. Look at this, easy peasy. So, what we're gonna do, take your tray, line with a bit of greaseproof paper or non-stick baking tray, and pop this on, okay? Just gently pop it on like that, and we're gonna leave it to one side to rest while we start with our apples, okay? So, so give them a little peel, Look at this, amazing peeler. You can't beat a pink peeler. Perfection. And we're gonna peel all three, and then we're gonna give them a little chop, okay? Don't be tempted to eat them, because we need all three. We need all three, people. And look, we're pretty healthy right now. Apples, topless baker, healthy. It's not chocolate. Right, we peeled our three apples. The beautiful pink peeler's done its job. Now, I'm going to do I'm just going to cut these in half, okay? So, start in half like this, and then we're just going to take the core out of it, because we don't want the core in our tart, that ruin it. So, take your knife just down the side, and just cut the core out really gently, okay? Like that. And then you can just pull it out, nice and easy. Okay. So take your beautifully little cored apple, and now, starting from the bottom, what you're going to do is you're going to cut slices and you're gonna fan your way all the way around so that you get thin little slices that we're gonna lay on our tart and it's gonna be beautiful. We have finished chopping our final apple, but we're gonna put them all into a big bowl, okay? And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add all the tasty bits that are gonna make this beautiful. Okay, so first things first, take your little zester and we're gonna zest half a lemon in, okay? So go in with that little bad boy. Look at that, you can't beat a bit of citrus zest. It's the best. Oh, a little poet, and I didn't know it. Hey! <laughs> and then, after this, what we're going to do is we're going to pop in the juice of half a lemon. So there we go. Give that a little cut, and then juice it, okay? Look at that. Already smells good. Perfect. Toss that away. Boom. Now, I've got a teaspoon of cinnamon here. I love adding a bit of cinnamon. So we're going to shake that in, shake it all about, go in with that. And then finally, we're going to grab a tablespoon of sugar, okay? Just go like that, heaped, depends how sweet your apples are. Shake that in and look at that mixture. That already, that just looks good already, doesn't it? It looks like absolute apple tart heaven and give it a good mix with your fingers, okay? We're just gonna fan these out beautifully over our puff pastry, and then we're gonna put it in the oven. We're so close, people, we're gonna eat, we're gonna eat. Right, I've had a little bit of a tidy up because I just made it rain flour everywhere and I was a mess, but what we're gonna do now is I've brought over the pastry that we rolled earlier that somebody made for us, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna score a border around the edge, and what this is gonna help do is puff up a beautiful little crust around the edge, it's gonna make it look fancy, I promise. It's gonna look good. So, take a knife, and what you're gonna do is score. Don't cut, but score. So what we're gonna do, take your knife and score about half an inch along the side, okay? Don't skip a side. And then we can lay on the apples that we just made two seconds ago, okay? Give it a little paint. We're getting artsy, so get your paint brushes out. Little egg wash. And then, we'll add our apples, okay? Right, we've painted on our little egg wash. 
We've done our artsy thing and now we're going to get even more creative people. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fan them one way, we're going to fan them the other way, and then we're going to fan them back the original way, okay? So take your little half moons and you'll see, as you lay them out, you'll see the beautiful design you've created. It's going to look good. But look at this. You can just see the cinnamon, you can see the sugar, and little bits of lemon that are all over it. Heaven. Heaven, heaven, heaven. Okay, look at our fancy design. I told you it was worth it. It looks good, doesn't it? Looks good. Okay, so we're going to put it in the oven at 190C, 375 Fahrenheit. And we're going to put it in for about 30 minutes or until golden, okay? So keep an eye on it. If it starts to brown too quickly, just put a piece of foil on top. Keep an eye on it though, okay? So let's pop it in the oven. Let's get this goodness in the oven. Oh my gosh, it's out the oven. It's been in for 30 minutes and look at it. It is so fancy. It looks so tasty. I can't wait to eat it. So what I did, you see this fancy little gloss we're going. I've got a tablespoon of my dad's homemade marmalade, Papa Topless Baker, he's in the house. And I heated it up with a little bit of water. Just took my pastry brush and just painted it all over the edge. And that gives it that beautiful gloss finish that you see there. So a little topless tip just to do that and finish it off. So. I need to dive into this. Absolute heaven. Ooh, slipping all over the place. Look at this delicious beauty. I need to dive in. I've got an entire tart to eat to myself. Okay, so guys, I hope you enjoyed it this week. A little bit of a healthy one, a little bit of apple, obviously with some sugar on it as well. But next week, coming at you with more chocolate goodness. So keep your eyes peeled, and I'll catch you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you later. When you serve it up, everyone's just going to be like, oh my gosh, so fancy. Mm. Just stick my head in this. It smells so good. Like cinnamon fingers.